Hello cellists, this is your extensions foundational cello technique video. Extensions are one of the primary things that we learn to do. It's introduced in the very end of book one, but in orchestra literature, in solo literature, you'll find that extensions are everywhere and they're introduced awfully soon. So many times my students will encounter them either in a scale or at school before they get to it in the solo repertoire. The most common mistake made when doing extensions forward is that the thumb stays behind. Right? Your first finger stays right where it is. Your second finger goes to where your second finger or your third finger tape should be. Um, I don't have tapes on this cello, but if I did, I'd be right on that third tape where my third finger usually goes. But you can see, I'm trying to show your thumb often will stay back here. And what that does is it leaves your smallest, weakest finger hung out to dry. So when you extend, bring two, three, four, and thumb together so that thumb can give fourth finger the same support that it gets in, in not extended position. So, um, let's do some finger stretches. Make sure when you stretch down that your first finger is still on its tape, right? And the two, three, four, two and three will be on your three and four tapes. Fourth finger will be off unless you've got an extension tape. And the thumb comes down. This really is a stretching exercise. Um, we're not just doing it because I want you to know where your fingers go. We need to loosen up the space between these two fingers so that it can be wider. I had a fabulous teacher uh, in my master's degree program, a woman whose hands were much smaller than mine. Um, you know, I thought, oh, I'm this big guy, right? I've got these big hands, it'll be fine. Um, I bet you I can reach way farther than her. It was completely wrong. She had a wider stretch between her hands than I did with much smaller hands because of flexibility, because of years of stretching to get all of those extensions, even octaves we sometimes have to do as cellists. Um, if you wanted to do the splits today, you'd probably have to start by stretching a little bit. And that's what we're doing here. It will feel uncomfortable. It's not painful usually, but uncomfortable. And so 10 finger stretches a day, after 10 days, this will be no big deal for you. And you'll be able to stay in extended position without getting uncomfortable. So 10 finger stretches a day, get your first finger here, Make sure you move two, three, four, and thumb, and put everything down and back. Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five. Check your first finger. Are you still down, or have you slid up? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do you have a straight elbow or is pinky, or are you bent like this? Make sure that your elbow's out and your thumb is perpendicular. It's even more tricky to do these properly when you have a thumb along the back of the neck that's, that's poking straight up, that's hitchhiking, right? We want it to be perpendicular to the neck. And then if your elbow is low, your hand's gonna collapse. So we have to have that elbow out a little bit. It frees up the hand to open, okay? That's your extensions forward to get G-sharp. Happy practicing, cellists.